Our guy Ed Prather's with us. Look at Ed, my guy Ed. On a Friday, what's going, what's going on, Ed? Hey, I'm going through Mike Kliss's projections okay. of uh, the roster, so I'm glad you're here. You can uh, chime in on things. But Good. first, uh, because it's Friday and your kids are at school, um, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Hey, Ed, you got to love a guy who's seven feet tall who stands on a chair. I love it. I love it. Uh, Our guy, Yoke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The best. Uh, things are good. Things are good. You know, how, how's the week been? Well, it's been busy, man, because training camp is back. And um, today, not only do we have training camp with the Packers, which is a huge deal, yeah. but the CU Buffs practice, uh, have a team practice at All City Stadium, which is basically South High School. Okay. Uh, near DU, uh, so that's that's like tonight, like at six o'clock or something. So, are they are they allowing folks to go watch? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're that's it's the stadium fits five thousand. We'll we'll see. We'll, we'll wow. see uh, who who's there. I think I think we have one one you know successful route here. We we have to win at this point. It has been a tough. <laughs> It's been a tough 10 days or whatever, but holy cow. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I'm a huge, I mean, I'm a, I'm a buff, you know that. And, yeah. Um, I'm going to be optimistic. Uh, some interesting turns, though. Yeah. Where are you with Prime being a, a proud buff? You know, I don't know if I told you, but I was going through my stuff like a year ago. My parents gave me this big thing of like, Every paper I ever did since I was in first grade. And in I, I'm not kidding you, like second grade or something, it was, you know, who would you want to have lunch with and why? And it was it was Neon Dion. Get like, out of here. I'm not no way. I will text it to you because I posted it to my fantasy football league and they're like, oh my God, you have to, you have to send that in. And I didn't, I should have, but it, it it's it's pretty cool. It's back when he was on the Falcons still. And I, you know, I I'm a big fan of Dion, and I think you know, that that doesn't mean that I have to agree with every single thing he says or does. Uh-huh. Uh, that, that's just the that's just the world, you know. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, <laughs> Prime, Prime, <laughs> Tony Stapleton from Associated Press. Um, you've bolstered your offensive line here in, in this second season. What does bolstered mean? What does bolstered mean? Yes. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> Eric Christensen with CBS Sports Colorado. Um, Tyler, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that with CBS. Next question. Okay, private. And well, and that's I. You know, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just turn on him. You know, okay. the, the hits keep coming. Coach Sean Keeler, the Denver Post. Happy summer, my man. You you don't like us, man. Why do you do this? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's funny. Yeah, what I was thinking about today is, of course, it's prime. But also, um, I'm excited for Knicks, and I loved what he did last. last there week. you go. Let's turn it back to the Broncos. There you go. There you go. Let's talk about what what how this practice goes. Are you going tonight? To I don't know. I'm on the fence. I got a I got a logistically uh, maneuver. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. You know, it would be pretty cool because we do chocolate pain now at live at 5 p.m. And it'd be cool if I was doing that and I was there. So maybe, 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 maybe. And you know, I love my bike. So I'm on my bike everywhere. So I'm like, all right, how can I get my bike? And it's a nice day. You know, it is a great, it is a great day. You know what? I love challenges and that would be a challenge. And uh, I, I will give it a shot. I will give it my best shot. We'll see. Uh, we all, I mean, I want to, I want to hear because I, I came from loving Dion, and especially how he started last year, of course, you know, on the train. Um, in in that last press conference, like, anyway. Anyway. Know, anyway. Hey, listen. So, hey, Ed, when it comes to real estate, you need to know how the sausage is made. When it comes to see you, whatever, dude. Just root for your buffs. You're a buff. Just root for the team. Who cares? You know, it's that type I of just, thing. I I hope we can outdo expectations and yeah. uh, 
and and change that narrative because it's pretty dark right now. Like that's well, but if, hey, I'm excited for it one way or the other. I'm entertained as hell by it. Um, so I'm Prime's really not my guy. I'm not writing papers about wanting to have lunch with them, but you know, I know this, this is like you know six sentences, like one of my first paragraphs. I, I mean, like this is early on the Oregon Trail computers. Well, that that may be five and a half sentences too much uh, in terms of where where what I would consider a uh, prime. But that being said, I love CU. I love CU. Love CU. I love Arizona State too. But I love CU, and I love people that went there. I got so many friends that are CU people, so I'm not rooting against the team. Just prime ain't my guy. That's all. That's all. That's all it is. It ain't and, my guy. But but I love CU. Well, let's let's root for. Everyone. Yeah, let's root for CU. I'm rooting for CU. Keep it there. And let, let's let's all understand CU isn't defined by prime. CU's been around for a long time before. We'll be honest. absolutely. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I, you know, I root for Shador. I root for Shador. I root for Travis yeah. Hunter. The, the Cordell and Rashawn. I mean, like it just some like it, amazing years and what an amazing school. And yeah. All right, let me get to the rest of the roster projection uh, okay. for the Broncos. This is according to Mike Kliss. He's got um, – I'll get past the uh, running backs. Um, fullback, he has him keeping Michael Burton, likely not a lock, with Nate Atkins on the bubble. Receivers, this has been the most interesting position in training camp, Ed. Yeah. Okay. Far. He says locks, locks are Sutton, Josh Reynolds, Marvin Mims, Troy Franklin and Devon Vele. Vele has been incredible. So he's really? got five guys as locks. So do you keep a sixth receiver? And he says, Bubble, Tim Patrick, Little Jordan Humphrey, Brandon Johnson, Jalen Virgil, David Sills, the fifth, with long shots being Philip Dorsett and Michael Bandy. Ed, it's been crazy in terms of the depth and talent of the wide receivers, in particular this training camp. That, that is an amazing – like, that. that is – a lot of folks to choose. And, and I think, you know, are you going to keep six? It comes down to, you know, what, what is what the style of play and, and, you know, what is that going to look like? I mean, and where's the need elsewhere? Um, but I'm surprised. I've always been a Tim Patrick fan. And, you know, I'd love to see him make it. I would too. But the problem is, um, the problem for Tim Patrick has been Devon Vele, the seventh round rookie, who is basically the same size. And he has been just incredible. And he's been incredible everywhere in practice, during the preseason game, like day after day after day. And Tim Patrick has had two seizing any injuries that he's had to work his tail off to get back, which is really, really impressive. Yeah. And it just may be like, do you want to go with this older guy who's coming off all these injuries? And it's funny with Devon Bailey. He's actually not that young. He's like 27, Ed. Because, really? yeah, well, he went to Utah. He okay. went on a, a two-year Mormon mission um, and COVID. And so he was in school forever. So he's wow. a little bit older. So he's he's like the oldest rookie on the team. But still, he's not as old as Tim Patrick, who ironically went to Utah as well. Listen, tough decisions okay. to make. Tough decisions to make. Well, absolutely. So we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. I, you, know, you know, you saw it, but look. Like, Said, it's good news for the Broncos this year. I mean, you go into preseason, obviously, I think you had us winning four or five games. Yeah. Feel now. Or excuse me, into, into camp. You know, I mean, the hope is they could become the Texans of last year with nobody expected anything. Holy cow. They, they make the playoffs. Um, I, I mean. I don't know, man. I love it. Well, and Knicks, I mean, will he start? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is this is a you know it's pretty funny. Let me play this audio for you. Yeah, Here okay. is KK Adams, um, and it was pretty funny hearing how she uh, she poised po- poses to the coach. Instead of the jig is up, though, coach. Like yeah. it's like we know he's the guy. Why not hand him the keys like Chicago the doing Caleb? What do you mean? They have one more. What song are you, what are you waiting more for? How, how, what, what are you? You're, so you're waiting. The jig is up, coach. Hey, coach. Pretty direct. I like it. Yeah, yeah, we're not idiots. We we get what's going on here. That being said, Stidham was with the ones yesterday, yeah. but it'll be oh. Bo Nix that starts on Sunday, and that's what I'm excited about. 
Yeah. I mean, in, in, you know, what is that two or three series, but I hope that they have Jordan love their, their, you know, number one defense. And, and that will be fun. I, you know, I, it's back to school. It's kids. It, it's, I have not been able to like turn on the TV other than like a bluey thing for like three weeks. So I'm watching a lot of highlights and, and things. So I'm excited because I'm going to watch that, that Packers preach. Like, I'm, I'm pumped and I hope that Nick's, does well, and I guess you know we'll get some more uh, some more feedback on on what the receiver corps are going to look like. Well, are you this excited? <laughs> I love in Serbia too. They're all polka songs, and they know every damn word of every polka song they play out there. See, they're all singing along. It's amazing. Yeah, that's great. All right, Ed, I'm excited about this week in real estate. Give us the latest and greatest. What's good, Ed? Well, we've seen mortgage rates come down. I mean, the last two or three weeks, it, it, you know, they they we had this big sell off thing in the market, and everybody freaks out. And then you know it it, it comes right back. You know, what we're seeing is we're moving into that soft landing and that's good for everybody. You know, we want to see the economy keep going, you know, moving forward. Um, that gives the Fed the ability to feel good, you know, as long as inflation comes down. And, and we saw, I mean, record breaking numbers. So our fl- inflation numbers came in yesterday and they were on par with uh, they hadn't been that low since March mm. of 2021. Awesome. So in a nutshell, mortgage rates are coming down. We've seen more action in the market. Um, we're still above that 10,000 unit seal or, or that, that kind of that, that, that clip of, of active inventory that we haven't seen in a long time. So, you know, you couple that with mortgage rates coming down in, in some, some sellers that need to sell and you've got, you got some opportunities now, um, that you hadn't seen cause it's been such a difficult few years for buyers, you know, when the, when the rates were super low, you couldn't get an offer accepted and then when they go up, obviously the economics change. Mm-hmm. All right. So listen, this is what you do. You, and I've had so many people come up to me and, oh, well, maybe this. And I can't, I can never do it. I can never buy a house. Right. You get that too. Sure. I'm like, I, I'm like, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. And you just get in your head that this could never happen. And I say, start talking with Ed and his team at edprather.com, Ed, P-R-A-T-H-E-R.com. It is not all doom and gloom for you to buy that first home, Ed, right? Oh, my God. Well, and real quick, just because it's so fresh. So a young man on our team who I, I, he's been with us, you know, started as a courier, has been with us many years, um, but just turned 21 and is one of the best salespeople I know, um, works closely with Dom. Um, he went in, in a, a, a townhouse in Lakewood and I think it was listed for like 440. Um, he offered 410 with 10 coming back to buy the rate down. Um, he got that. And then in addition to another 12 and a half thousand to replace the electrical panel, um, and the furnace, and then it just appraised for 435. And wow. he, it's, I'm just so happy for him and people like that because it is scary. You know, whether whether rates are high, low, or, or or you know somewhere in between, and so to to see people taking action and and moving closer to that, you know, building equity and and just like you and I have have, have done. I mean, it's it's different than it was, and so yep. it's awesome to see it. All right, Ed, you're the best. Start that conversation with Ed Prather. EdPrather.com. And uh, check out the selling series right here on the Kill You With Truth. It's on the playlist. If you're, you know, we had our, my guy, Chris, up there in Boulder. He's going to move to Buena Vista. That's what he watched. And he's worked with Dom. I understand things are going pretty well in that department. So. Absolutely. Well, hey, is it is it Buena Vista or Buena Vista? Yeah, you know what, Ed? Uh, you know. Buena Vista. Us Coloradans know that. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. The Ruby a little bit. All right. All right. Ed. All right. <laughs> I've been here 27 years. 27 years, and I'm like, yeah, go back to Massachusetts. I mean, they're 27 years. At least, at least your allegiance and loyalty is to the Broncos, and not. Oh, that. oh there's no doubt about that. Well, yeah. and, and it, real quick, just because yeah. I, I am actually curious, who's going to start in New England? Uh, it's gonna. It'll be Drake May. And and listen, this is because you put, and he he played actually better last night. It's it's because you, 
you put all your eggs in that basket to not start him would be idiotic. It'd be so dumb. But that, that being said, New England, New England may be the worst team in the league this year. Well, and I mean, so, so now is, um, Mac Jones is going to be a, a perennial backup bouncing around or is he, is he fighting for, for, you know, with the ones still? Ed, uh, listen, your boy, comeback stories, man. You never know. You, you don't never, know. Everybody. What, what a fun time though, with the, the NFL coming up, we're coming out of that, like, you know, the, the summer, everyone's going back to school right? Um, and then basketball, hockey, it's, it's going to be good. And, and I am super excited for the Broncos. So you and I need to make a bet because, you know, I, I think we can win eight games. Eight games? Well, I'm not going to bet against the Broncos. I'm not, I'm not going to, like, say, oh, man, no way. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I just hope we're a, a you I know, love, oh, I'll, I'll just agree with you. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, I'm not betting against these guys. Come on, Ed. We, we got to get go get some wings and, and watch a couple of them. I, that you. You got hey that that's fine by me, brother. I love it. All right, I'll talk to you next week, Ed. Love you, pal. We'll see you hey, later. Love you too, Take All care. Right. That's my guy, Ed Prather.